Welcome to uboat.net. Today we're going to be talking about the M100. Uh, this tutorial I'm going to explain to you how to install a uh, hard drive into this. First thing you'll need is a Phillips screwdriver um, and it's a, a little bit smaller you can see and this is due to the screw panels that you see on the front and back panels right here and here. They are smaller than regular size so you'll need a smaller screwdriver. Uh, first thing you'll need to do before you get started installing the hard drive is unscrew each screw from the front and back panel. So let's get started on that right now. Okay, got one out. Oh. And uh, the M100, it holds a 2.5 SATA inch uh, hard drive and um, it's, we support up to two terabytes. Uh, just a fair warning though, some of the bigger hard drives, um, they are a bit more thicker than the other ones. So you got to be careful and make sure you pick the right one before installing because some of them may not fit in the M100. Okay, so now that you got all the screws unscrewed, uh, you see this black back panel right here. It's the first thing you're going to have to remove. And so it comes out really quickly and easily. Um, and then the next thing you got to do with the M100 is you're going to take off the top metal casing and you want to take off the one with the Yubo logo on it. So remove that casing and that's where you'll see the inside of the M100. Uh, you could easily see that there's a 2.5 inch hard drive connection right here, little port for it. So you get your hard drive, which I have one right here and you'll see that the connector is on one side of the hard drive. Basically, you're just going to match them up and connect it. So go ahead and connect your hard drive. And that's it. It's in. And you'll take your case that you removed and put it back on. And then go ahead and insert the back panel right back into, into place. From there, all you're going to do is take those initial screws that you did to take apart the casing of this unit and put them back in and screw it back into place. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we've got the other side to go. All right. And then the last screw. And there you have it. You have a, now have a hard drive installed and you are able to load content onto your M100 and enjoy it on your TV. And that is it.